Hey everyone, in today's video, let's see how we can install Linux on your iPhone and also how we can install Python on top of Linux. Right, so in App Store, there is this app called ISH Shell. It says Linux in your pocket. It's a small piece of software. It's a 5.7 MB. So let's install this app and explore how the Linux works on your iPhone right so the app is installed let me open it great you can see it says welcome to alpine you can install packages with so and so command you may change this message inside this file okay so let me check which user i have been logged into root that's good uh, the very first thing i'll do is change this appearance okay dark let me see how this looks it looks more like a terminal it's a black background with the white colored text let's see one more option one three three seven perfect this looks more nice you know more like a you are actually logged into a terminal screen this reminds me of this matrix movie and we have only these three options you do have an option to select an external keyboard but anyway i'm going to use the keyboard which i have on the screen okay and there is an option to change the app icon let me try this okay okay the file system is mounted at root there is an option that we can import a file system stun all right i'm gonna select the default appearance which is light it's all right okay let me see the file systems Okay, there's only one file system and it says I have used 157.5 gigs and 80 gig remaining 66%. Okay, let's try the basic stuff. So, uh, which directory I'm in root. I can go to directory ls. Okay, nice. Okay, let me go back to the default login directory which is root. Let me create a directory test. Let's see if it works. Okay, I can see the directory is present. Let me go into test. Nice. So let me check. Okay, great. Okay, let me create a couple of files. Touch file. File two. File three. All right, let me check files and the permission. Great. Let's see if I can use this app in landscape mode. Okay, landscape mode works fine, but you can see the terminal screen is very small because keyboard is has occupied almost 50% of the screen. Landscape mode works fine if you connect to an external keyboard. So you have the complete screen as terminal and you can you know type in the external keyboard all right let me go back to the portrait mode okay, let me check if i can create a shell script and run so the four buttons on the top this one is tab this one is escape this one is the navigation key i'm in insert mode Okay, so this one is escape and you need to write and quit. Let's see if the script is present here. You can see the script is present here. So I'm gonna run the script and see if it works. Okay, permission denied as always. LS minus LRT. Okay, we need to give permission, change mode, 750, hello. Let's see the tab works, it works fine. Great, so the navigation button, if you, you know, slide up, it will display all the previous commands. Okay, great, uh, right, the variable, it didn't take the variable. Let me quickly check why it didn't take, hello. Hopefully this should work. Great, it worked. So you can see, you can easily write shell script and uh, and you can also do all the basic stuff what you do in Linux. All right, let's try pinging the Google DNS. Ping minus. 
plus C three Perfect. Let's try to write a custom message when we access this app the next time. ETC. Okay. Not D. All right. So let me remove this. Okay, let me type my own message. Okay. So I'm going to say this file. Let me close this app and launch it again and see if, if we have that custom message. Great, you can see the custom message appears here. Uh, let's check out if we still have our directory and the files that we created. Okay, test, yeah, we still have it. CD test plus, okay, we still have a script as well. Let me remove all these other files. Okay, all the files are removed except for this one. Let's see if we can add a user. Add user sign. Okay, great. Nice, we can add a user, it's interesting. Let me try if I can switch to that user. ID, perfect. It's really good. I was not expecting that we can add a user. Let's create a file. Let me check which is the directory before that. Okay, oops, pwd. Okay, it created a home directory. And let me create a file. Plus minus LRT. Cool. I'm gonna come out of this user. Let's see how much free memory is available. Okay, that will not display here, which used to display in an actual Linux machine. Let's see if I can run top. Top works perfect. This is, as you know, to check the performance of the system. Basically, we used to see for which process is consuming more CPU. Okay, let me come out of this. As you can see, you can do a variety of stuffs on the small Linux. Let's run uname command. Okay, didn't work. Your name says Linux. Cat uh, etc. Okay, I'll find Linux. It says this is 3.14.3 version of Alphine Linux. Let's see if your name minus R works. Okay, this worked. You can see this is pretty impressive and the way they have designed this app providing us with most of the Linux features. It's very helpful, you know, basically for IT professions. You can go to the Alphine Linux release documents and uh, explore more options. Now it's time to install Python. By default, you log in as root. Uh, let me install Python. Oops, I need to provide the version. I pick at Python 3, all right. Great, you can see it's installing. Cool. Let's see if the Python is installed. Let me run Python 3. Let's run some commands and see how it uh, works. Let's try one more. This one works fine. Let's try another last one. Cool, it's showing the correct information. Okay, I'm gonna use the up arrow key and change some value here. Okay, this part, yeah. Add okay, enter. I want to use the arrow key again. False good because of the presence of uh, 
special character the output is false right so we can come out of python prompt oops exit let's create a python directory okay i will cd to python let me write a python script and uh, try to run it okay so let me do a vi my underscore py is the extension for python script as you know okay insert mode Let me save the script okay the script is saved i can see it here let me run this perfect you can see the script ran absolutely fine i'm surprised it didn't throw any syntax error okay let's try to use this python to synchronize with linux by you know such as reading and writing files from linux using python Okay, let me create another Python script. I missed a plus because this will create the text file or txt if the file is not present. And now is the time to write some content in the file. It's time to close the file. Right now we can see that there are two files here. Let me cat the script which I just wrote. Linux stuffs.py. So theoretically it should create this file and it should add this content five times according to the script. Let's see if it works. Python three linux stuff dot py okay so there was no error which is amazing uh, let me see if the file is getting created okay great you can see the file has been created text file dot txt let me cat this file awesome so you can see this is really convenient and more than using it as a linux you can install python and you can absolutely do most of the stuffs what we can do on python and you can also modify the current script let's try that once vi linux stuffs.py so i'm going to change this content Okay, let me see the existing file here. All right, so let me run the script again. Python 3. Okay, so we have the same file. Let's cat this file. The existing content has been replaced with this content. By now you have a clear picture of uh, how we can use Python on iOS. It's really helpful for students, software professionals, and even for some people who would like to show off, you know, that I'm coding on my cell phone. There's a lot of things to explore and more than using it as a Linux, use it for the sole purpose of Python on this app. You can also install other softwares which are allowed by Alpha and Linux. You need to go through the release documents. If you have any questions, please mention in the comment section below. As always, please hit the subscribe button and like my video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.